I already resent these next guests for all the nightmares they're about to give me. Let's <laughs> welcome the cast of IT. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, how are you? You. This is awesome. I'm so happy you guys are here. Thank, uh, you. Thank you. First of all, welcome to Comic-Con. This is your first Comic-Con, right? Yes. yes. How's yes. it been so far? Amazing. Oh my god, it's awesome. See, this is good. That energy, I want you to hold on to that energy forever and just soar. Because so many people become jaded and they want to get out of it. Just hold on to that forever. Thank so, you. IT, yeah. you seem like lovely, happy, wonderful people. Why? Are you making this nightmarish movie to scare yeah. children all over the world? It's for the culture, you know. <laughs> it's for the culture, for the, it's for the culture, for the children, you know. Yeah. But, um, clown culture? Yeah, yeah. clown. Right? It's you know, it's a, like for he, the sake it's, of honoring um, Stephen King. Yeah. yeah. So that's a man. That's a really good answer. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. So, <laughs> were were clowns like a thing that you were afraid of when you were very young? Like, because I know that that's the kind of thing where it kind of it goes with some people. Some people are like it doesn't bother me at all. I'm okay. And then you talk to other people, and they're like, they are literally the worst things in the world. They are sharks of the land, yeah. tigers yeah. of the sea. <laughs> I was more, I think, afraid of dolls than I was clowns. But yeah, cl yeah. Did you say girls? Cla no, yeah, all the time. No, <laughs> cla dolls. Adult. No dolls. 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 Not dolls what about clown dolls? That's even worse. <laughs> I don't even get me of, started on those clown dolls. When, how, how old are you guys? 16. Uh, 16. 13. 15. 13. So when I was like 13, I was scared of teenagers. Because <laughs> they were like adults with superpowers that could just do whatever they wanted. Yeah. There's no laws for them. Yeah. So how do you guys like balance school and responsibilities? Like We get it done on set usually. Yeah. But when we're not shooting, we, you know, we go to school. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of awesome because I think a lot of people just go like, no, I'm going to do clown movies forever and then they just never go to school. Yeah. yeah. You know, it is very hectic, actually. Yeah. It's, um, I go to um, a public school and so, you know, trying to balance the two is kind of hard. But, of course. Um, I actually go to a very, uh, uh, no, like, my school doesn't care. They let me do that. But, yeah. Yeah, because I don't think that works for a lot of kids where they can be like, hey, I'm not going to come to school for a Sorry. year. i got to work on this clown movie. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just come back whenever you want. My school's very small, so everybody knew about it on the that's first awesome. day when that's I came That's back. so cool. Um, so, like, were horror movies a thing with, like, as, as, you, as you guys were growing up? I mean, is this something that you try to watch? Because I know, like, you know, a lot of people sort of shield their kids from that. Right. Sure. And then, I, you know, like someone like me back in the 80s and 90s, my parents were just like, oh, that looks safe. And I was like, yeah. it says Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the box. Right. Like, it's it's clearly very bad for me. So um, did you guys get to watch horror movies growing up? Yeah. Well, I think I had, a, I had a, like, a, a way to do it. I watched a horror movie, and then I watched, a, like, a, a yeah, comedy or a I'm cartoon smart. afterwards. So I'd watch, uh, say, Chainsaw. Yeah. And then i watch Shrek. That's or, like drinking milk after spicy food. Right. Or you yeah. watch It, yeah. and then you watch um, Steven Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen King and Steven Universe. Right. The two you Stevens know, back to back. Them. That's awesome. So, like, is it is it difficult to work on a movie like this? Like, it feels like, based on the original, for those of you who haven't seen it, please watch it because it's a classic. Very good. There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of filming in the sewers. There's a lot of very gory stuff. There's a lot of, like, giant props and things that explode and go bump. Like, right. it's not like this is a, a movie about three kids sitting in a room at a dinner table. Like, yeah. this is a very active film. Yeah. So has it been hard? Um, well, I mean, going into it, I didn't, it, I had a little bit of angst, um, you know, regarding if if I could top the original, because um, you know it's a cult classic and right. it's Stephen King, um, but I think we did a pretty good job, and there were some uh, a few hard moments, but other than that, like there were smooth sailing and it was it was a blast. Feeling. It was a blast. Yeah, I think Andy is to blame for that. To <laughs> yeah. Awesome. He, yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, he's an amazing director, and he actually gave us uh, freedom to uh, uh, express our characters yeah. the way we want. Um, yeah. And it seems like he has a tremendous respect for the source material, too. Yeah. And I think that, like, a lot of people uh, my age, when they hear, like, oh, they're remaking this thing you used to love, they kind of recoil, and they're like, but it's precious, and it's perfect right. to me. Yeah. But it's also, like, why not scare a whole new generation of people? I think um, that's why I said in the beginning, it's kind of for the culture, because it's really, I think a lot of kids aren't scared of clowns because we didn't grow up with a scary clown movie like people with Stephen King stories. Too. Yeah, you were lucky. So we can bring that back. We can bring yeah. back the fear of clowns. 
and you know we had a great director andy is awesome yeah and we had awesome sets this is my first major movie i, th I think it's your first one too and to see the things that people can build when we work together and it has a great message in this film is it's not just a horror film right it's got a really kumbaya you know stand by me and yeah aspect. yeah i think I, I really love that aspect of it because it is about friends coming together and hanging out um but a big part of that nowadays is that people are kind of on their phones all the time yeah, but you didn't pocket. really have that because this yeah. when did this movie take place for you guys uh, 1989 yeah. yeah so i mean there was like one cell phone that mm. one rich kid had and it was yeah. like attached to his car yeah. <laughs> so there was no texting yeah yep. so you just had to be friends like yeah. old school In real life yeah. Yeah. Like you real had to life. talk to each other and not text this is you know. that's another thing you guys got you're bringing that back and you're bringing back clowns it's the two things, the two most important things yeah. in the world, yeah. friendship and clouds. Uh -huh. <laughs> if your parents don't want you to see this film, just say, Mom, it has good messages. It right. teaches it does. equality it does. and kindness and social relationships. So let me see this. That's what you just need to tell them. That's yeah. all. That's the other trick is like you say, hey, um, I'm going to go see this like cool like you know, G DreamWorks movie or Pixar movie. <laughs> you get dropped off. Um, the dude turns around, you walk into the other theater, and maybe you see a terrifying clown movie. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe. I'm not snitching. Tomato, Hopefully. tomato. <laughs> you know. So you talked about the sets and the props. Um, it seems like there's gonna, like a lot of physical things being built here, which is yeah. cool because obviously so many movies are shot on green screen. There's so much that's uh, just sort of built in a studio. But you guys got to see some real, actual stuff built, right? Awesome. Yeah. Most of the stuff was real. Um, most that of the rules. stuff was very real. Yeah. yeah. Like, of course, we had a, a lot of effects you'll see in the film, but even Pennywise, his whole costume oh, yeah. is all like, like, real. It's yeah. all aesthetic. Yeah. There were like two or three things. Like, we just wanted, we actually, one or two things that were like not really there, but the majority of things, like, basically everything was yeah. raw that, and right in front of us. That is fantastic. It made yeah. it very easy to act. Yeah, so yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 See it. Exactly. Especially because Bill's such a great actor, so. He's crazy. Crazy good. So, when's the movie out? September 8th. Oh yes. my god, it's so soon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you will be scared of clowns again September 8th. Guys, thank you so much for coming thank you. through. Thank you. This is awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great Comic Con. Thank awesome. you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you.